And it is my pleasure to introduce you to the head cider maker, Corey Hare. Hi, Corey. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you so much for bringing us out back. This is an incredible facility. It is ginormous. I mean, these tanks, oh my goodness. Tell me what I'm looking at here. Um, so right behind us is a bright tank. It is, uh, it, the capacity is 6,000 gallons. Um, right now this one is empty, but the other ones are full. Um, usually when we produce cider, we don't fill it all the way to the top, but it does have the um, capacity to hold 6,000 gallons. It has the capacity for a tremendous amount of alcoholic beverage. And now, of course, we're talking specifically about cider, and people tend to think of cider seasonally, but Corey, should we be thinking about cider seasonally? Uh, definitely not. Um, here we make ciders for all year round. Um, I like to describe cider uh, to people as a really great hybrid between wine and beer. Um, so if you don't like beer or you're not too fond of wine, I think cider is a really nice uh, middle ground for that. It's where you should land. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, we definitely make ciders that um, fit the season for sure. So. And you do more than cider. You've got these barrels that that are kind of behind the camera right now. Yes. And you do some really fun things. You infuse. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we um, have a really great barrel age program. Um, right now we are aging cider in tequila barrels, rum barrels, and bourbon barrels. Um, we have also aged cider in Cabernet barrels. Um, and gin barrels from local distilleries as well. So does that mean we end up with cider that tastes like tequila or tequila that tastes like cider? Definitely cider that has hints of tequila and the woodiness from the barrel, but um, definitely cider first. All kinds of flavors of cider here, all kinds of wonderful infusions. I do know, Corey, that there are, every season, there will be flavors on tap that are only available outside right there in the bar. But beyond that, you have flavors that circle through the season. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we are wrapping up our summer season uh, with pineapple hibiscus, um, such a popular flavor for us. Um, and we are actually rolling into our fall winter seasonal, which is cranberry ginger, um, another fan favorite. So we're really excited about that. And, and you have on average every season four flavors that are typically related to that season. Yep. But you gotta come in to try those few flavors on tap that roll with the season. Yep, absolutely. So as well as all of those wonderful different unique flavors and year round cider flavors, you guys, you've won awards. Yeah, we have won a number of awards. Um, we try to enter competitions every year. Um, and we have won silver and bronze medals for a variety of our ciders, such as our dry cider, um, our semi-sweet cider, uh, a citrus cider that we make for the tap room called Savory Citrus, um, and our summer seasonal, which is pineapple hibiscus. So they're doing really well. Yes, I, I think we're, uh, we're, we're still shooting for the gold, but not a bad start. You're in there, you're in the running. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then um, uh, just another kind of fun fact is that the apples you use, they're New York apples. We love that. Yeah. New York cider, New York apples, here used in your distillery. It's its just kind of more of what makes you great. Yeah, absolutely. Local is definitely our uh, top priority. Thank you, Corey. Of course.